In Surah Zuhru, verse 71, God informs, I seek refuge in God from the cursed Satan. Platters and cups of gold will pass around them and they will have their, all that their hearts desire and their eyes find delight in. You will remain in it timelessly forever. God is informing that all things that the heart desires will be there in heaven. This is upon your thinking, this is upon your imagination and what you will ask from God. And the companions at that time, the companions of our Prophet, some people were wondering about this and they ask, for instance, Hazrat Burede, on is explaining, a person just approached the Prophet and asked if there will be horses in heaven. For instance, what would people ask in our day? Are there speed boats? Are there speed cars? So at that time, that person, the companions of our Prophet, find the horses to be interesting for themselves, and they ask about the horse. And what does our Prophet say? When Allah grants you heaven, he will be creating the red jewelry, the red emerald. And if you would like to ride a horse in heaven while riding on a ruby horse, God will grant you and create you this, this horse for you, which is in red color, in ruby. And you will be just flying in the air. So we know that in our day, for instance, the sports cars, they are in red color. They are shiny and so bright and brilliant in its appearance. And this is how our prophet describes at that time how the companion will understand this. For instance, when we look at a distance to a sports car in red color, it shines like ruby, red ruby. So this is described as a simile there, and it will make you fly. This is how our prophet describes. This means that there's immense speed, and you can just fly into the air with your vehicle, with your car. And upon this, another companion, the companions are wondering, they ask, for instance, will there be a camel in heaven? So for that person, camel is so interesting. For instance, in our day, mostly the youth is interested in speed cars, speed boats, and at that time the companions find the camel and the horse to be extraordinary, amazing for them. So they ask for the camel, for instance. And our Prophet responds to that. And our Prophet described in a different way. If Allah, if God, places you in heaven, everything that you would desire, anything that would come to your mind, anything that you would be pleased of, that is proper with your culture, with your understanding, what you are pleased with, anything that you will find pleasing for your eyes will be there in heaven. This is how our Prophet describes for he to comprehend the heaven, because one will ask camel, the adult, the other will ask something else. For that period, for instance, there are certain competitions, and they would ask maybe what kind of cars, what kind of vehicles would be a part of those competitions. So our prophet describes with a concise statement, saying that anything you would be pleased of, anything that your heart would desire, anything which is comprehended by means of your culture, your understanding, all will be a part of the heaven. This is how our prophet describes. So now they ask, how can there be speedboats in heaven? However, speedboats is something ordinary for God, because God creates the boats, for instance, in this world, for you to find it, as an example here. But if you were to see the speedboat, the boat, the luxury boat in heaven, which is created there by God, then you would find the ones in this world so primitive, because the boats in heaven, they just ride in the air, they ride just deep under the sea, and also the boats would listen to you, it would take care of all listen to your commandments you would for instance direct it to just travel to the island just across you and it would just listen to your commandments and carry out your instructions or one of the 
one of the servants in heaven would would carry out your orders or otherwise everything acts with the commandments of God and everything is wise there everything is intellectual there in heaven and listens to your words understands your words the Prophet he said for a believer there will be a tent and that tent will be may be built inside a pearl. We may assume that pearl to be so small, but just ask for the ones who live inside that pearl. Would they find that pearl to be so minute? Look at the atoms and ask the atoms, how big is the pearl? And they would find that to be like a universe, extensive, with no end. So just assume that there is a tent made out of pearl, that that tent is built out of pearl. And according to one narration, its width is 60 miles, which means it is so extensive, so huge. And in every corner, there will be a wife lawful for, for him. This means amazing, beautiful women in every corner of this tent. And none of them will see the other. They are separate. They are in separate locations. The believing men just visit these women one by one. And where do we find this information in Buhari, in the Hadith, in Reddul Haq? 8, the commentary, Rahman, 1, and Tawheed and Sahih Muslim in the part related with heaven, in Tirmizi, and also in the place where paradise is described, these are all hadith from these sources. There was a young man asking us about the references, so I'm now giving you, mentioning you the references, the sources of this information. They will be singing with beautiful voices there. This means that songs is beautiful, songs are beautiful so pleasing there are so many amazing songs and beautiful compositions in heaven for instance the songs that we like in this world are really uncomparable to the songs that we that we would hear in heaven we would we would wish to listen to those songs over and over again hundreds and thousands and millions of songs and beautiful huris are singing there and their voices are really really unprecedented are really amazing there will be places where the huris, where the women will come together, just like the places, like discos, like entertainment places, they will be singing with beautiful voices. And the ones who are, who are present in the heaven, they will hear voices which they have never heard before. So believers just go and come together there. They listen to the voices, the beautiful songs of these these ladies, these women, women of heaven singing. This is places like entertainment places, like enjoyment places. There are trees in heaven and all the trunks of the trees are covered with golden ornaments. All of them are so much beautiful, amazingly decorated with gold. There will be birds and insects in golden appearance, and also the trees appear with golden, golden ornaments there in heaven. There is no night in heaven. Heaven is created with, with nur, with light. Allah, bizim yüzlerimize apaydınlık yapmadı mı? Ebu Davud narrated, the ones in heaven, when they are sent to heaven and the ones who are present in hell are sent to hell, the believers say, God has given light to our face. God has saved us from hellfire. Right at that moment, they will just look at it. They will see the manifestation of God, and this is what they like the most, they will be pleased with most. Ibn Musa al-Shari narrated, narrated saying that our Prophet said, God asked 
Elbiseler. The ones living in heaven. Did God, God create this promise? And at that moment, the believers in heaven, the ones in heaven, they are given jewelry, bracelets and ornaments, rings, earrings and clothes. All beautiful things. Everything is, is created there. For instance, the clothes in heaven will be resembling the clothes in this world. They will not be an extraordinary difference. The fabric will be different. It will be shiny, brilliant. There will be amazing colors. And it will be so appealing and attractive in heaven. Otherwise, the clothing in heaven and the clothing in the world will be resembling one another. There will be fruits, uh, fruits, and also there will be pure women, wives, and they will be looking at the rivers. For instance, in the Bosphorus, there is a river made out of sea, and we are at a higher location. And God informs that they will be on high palaces, and also there will be rivers just flowing down below them. It will be huge rivers, but calm and pleasing and, and beautiful. And afterwards, they will say, the believers will say, God has, has kept his promise. And the angels will ask, did God keep his promise? Did God keep his promise? Did God keep his promise? Keep his promise? And all the believers in heaven, they will say, when they see heaven, they will say, yes. Abdullah Abdullah bin Mesut radiyallahu'nden biz Allah'ın Resulü sallallahu, sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem'den yanındaydık. Kadir gecesi aya baktı ve şöyle buyurdu. Siz Rabbinizi tıpkı şu ayı, gökteki ayı, gördüğünüz gibi ayan, Abdullah bin Mesut radiyallahu'nden olan, bak onu görmekte en ufak bir şey. They were together with the Prophet and the Prophet looked into the eye and said, you will be seeing your Lord, God, just as you see the moon there, with an apparent appearance, with a clear appearance, and you will have no doubts, no suspicions of seeing your Lord. And you will be, you will be so, so, so much in comfort when you see the manifestation of God. When God removes the veil from people's eyes, when they see the manifestation of God, all the rivers will be in enjoyment. They will be joyful. The trees will dance, they will move and make sounds. They are all conscious, and all the palaces, they will be in color, they will be illuminated with light, and there will be animation and life everywhere, and the brooks there in heaven, they will be moving faster, with more enjoyment, with more element, in order to emphasize the enthusiasm, the fervor, the beauty, feelings of enjoyment and there will be beautiful fragrances everywhere and the birds in heaven they will just sing beautiful songs and who is the women in heaven they will be just attractive and appealing in their appearance when when god manifests in heaven this is what's going to happen in heaven the believers living there they will be beautiful birds in heaven and when they just just make a gesture to the birds, they come in fried appearance, just as a beautiful dish, then they eat it, and then it, the bird just flies again into the air, and then, and then it just goes on living there. This is a beauty, this is how, how that is created as a beauty from God. Enes bin Malik radiyallahu peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyurdu, Allah, Adnan cennetten yaratıp ağaçlarını kendi kudretiyle diktiği zaman Allah'ın ruhunu taşıyor. Enes bin Malik radiyallahu anh narrated from our prophet sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. Müminler felaha ermiştir. God creates the Adnan heaven and he created the trees there in heaven and God commands the trees to talk. This means that the trees are conscious. Sayfa 364. They have the light of God and the trees just speak out saying that the believers have achieved salvation. And then God 
speaks and says, You, the land of the kings, how happy you are, how content you are. This is how God just addresses the heaven. This is in my heart. And also God commands the heaven to speak and the heaven speaks. God directs them, God yani, addresses them, God's soul is everywhere. And God speaks and says, how happy is the person who who you are is pleased with. This is how God manifests that his soul is surrounding and encompassing everywhere throughout the heaven. And this is how, for instance, for instance, the glass just is also conscious. And when you ask the glass, how are you? It says, I'm so... I'm so well. And when you would like to drink what is inside the glass, you tell the glass to come to you and it, it just moves towards you. And then you just drink out of it. All things are conscious in heaven. So they listen to your words and they carry out your your directions, your, your directives, your instructions. All the flu fruits have 72 different colors, for instance. For instance, grape, it has 72 different colors. For instance, from, from a grape, it has also 72 different colors. For instance, when we look at the apples in this world, it may have three, four different colors, but in heaven, it will have 72 different colors. Blue apple, or some other colors that we are not aware of. We only know about the seven colors in this world, but here it is mentioned that there are 72 colors. This means that in heaven we will encounter colors that we have never seen in this world. This is uncomparable with what we have in this world. This is how God gives a description of heaven. They ask, they ask for instance, Will there be dates? Will there be dates poem in heaven? This is how a person asks our prophet. For instance, they ask, how will there be cinema? How there will be movies there? However, this is given to you, particularly in this world. For instance, in heaven, we we know that the believers just sit in their couches and they look at something and they see the people in hell. This is just television. This is a description of television. This is a kind of something that that is like a fabric, for instance, or maybe something made out of diamond, a certain item there. And when the believers look into that in heaven, they will see hell. It will be a three-dimensional appearance there. And in this world, the television is created for a particular reason that you will find its true form in heaven. For instance, boats in this world. It is something really so ordinary for God. In this world, God creates the boats in this world, and also in heaven, there will be uncomparable, amazing technology, amazing, beautiful boats in heaven. And also here, you use all kinds of items, all kinds of means in order to move the boats in this world, but in heaven, it will be so, so easy to move them, to travel with them. It will just fly in the air, it will just dive into the depths of the water, and if you will just call it to you, it will, it will just listen to your orders. And the boats in this world, that is why, will be so primitive when compared with the ones in heaven. For instance, the bazaars in heaven. The ones in this world are so primitive when compared with the ones in heaven. The bazaars are light, pure and clean in heaven. There will be thousands of people just traveling inside those bazaars, visiting those bazaars, but there will be no dirt, nothing to disturb people. And there will be gates of heaven, beautiful doors, but maybe they will be made out of light or maybe diamond-like, just decorated with jewelry. We will Her see when we go, inshallah. Aslında her cennete geçebiliyor müminler. Ama çeşitli mahalleler gibi düşün. God teaches about different heavens, Firdevs and Adın, and there are different heavens. Believers can pass from one heaven to another. It is just like provinces. It will be layer above layer. 
one about the other. For instance, a person is just sitting in heaven and he has a friend. Heaven is so wide. For instance, his friend is 10,000 kilometers at a distance and when he thinks of him in his mind, he, he will be just finding his friend together with him. More speedy than the, the speed of light because the speed of imagination is the most most speedy, the most the fastest way of traveling. And we can understand in different narrations that God will be manifesting, and this is what people will be pleased with the most. Just as you see the moon in the sky, this is how our prophet describes, the believers in heaven, they will be seeing the manifestation of God. And there will be all kinds of instruments. Musical instruments are so ordinary in this world, just some, some strings placed on top of wooden material in this world. But when, when we are to see the musical instruments in heaven, there will be amazing sounds, high quality, amazing technique and technology there in heaven, which we can never compare with the ones that we see in this world. For instance, guitar, people find that to be so important in this world. However, that is wood and strings on top of wood, nothing more. That is one of the most primitive musical instruments. But if you were to see the musical instruments in heaven, that is breathtaking, really, so amazing. And the trees, they don't have a rough appearance in heaven. There will be Jews, gold, which will be ornamenting the trees. This is how God creates and how he is pleased with. When we think of that in our imagination, we can only think with a limited appearance with a limited logic really when we see god's artistry how he creates the heaven we, we will be just breathtakingly amazed with the beauty in heaven unsurper unsurpassable beauty in heaven and there will be rivers of honey, rivers of milk, that is to emphasize the plentiness, the abundance in heaven. Bildans are the little children, the ones who have passed away from this world as children, they are discredited as children again in heaven. And the Gulman are men servants. <laughs> When you enter into the gates of heaven, when the believers are outside the gate of heaven, believers are waiting with great hope and fear. But when they enter into the heaven, then this means that they will attain eternal life. Maybe with a kind of a magnetic, magnetic field, they would enter into the heaven. And after the believer enters into the heaven, that is eternal life. And it will not be possible for the believers to come out of the heaven no more. There will be no such possibility. And there are no trees in heaven with, with which all the roots of trees will be engolden in heaven. So all the trees will be decorated and ornamented with amazing beauty there. No ordinary trees in heaven. Our prophet said that there will be rewards, there will be awards following competitions in heaven. This means that our prophet is pleased with competition and there will be competitions in heaven again. 
There will be car races, there will be boat races, or running, or horse races, just for enjoyment. Such, ra such races, such competitions will take place in heaven, just for having enjoyment. Rasulullah just trained his horse and he attended different competitions, different races with his horse. He was riding so well. Hazreti Enes radiyallahu an explains he had a camel and that camel just won all the races. One day a Bedouin just attended the race and he just passed Abba and the companions was not pleased with this situation. E, yükselttiği her şeyi arka, arkasından alçaltmak Allah'ın üzerine bir hak. Allah, when he her saw the sorrow on the faces of the companions, he made this statement var. saying that her yükselen bir gün mutlaka aşağı inecektir diyor. Ya benim devem de olsa diyor. God atım da olsa, gives, eğer gives çok güçlü a superior de position and also God diyor just brings down that superiority. So anyone who moves up will definitely move down one day. And this is in relation to his horse, in relation to his camel. Even if powerful, it will be just going down and it will be just terminated. And this is how our Prophet has emphasized a very important scale, a very important fact. It is known that every Kemal has Zewal in Arabic and every Zewal has Kemal. Everything that is grown and matured and become superior will be just ending and terminating one day. For instance, the Muslims are sitting in heaven. They are. If they wonder about any place, they have their televisions. It's not, nothing complex. It, it's a very practical system. Because they need reasons here. Just assume that there is a pearl, and just on top of a pearl, you may just view anything. You may see the people there in hell, for instance. If they want to see the opposition and the ones who are members of the hellfire, when they think about those persons, they see them in hell. Hazreti Ayşe diyor ki, yarışı ben kazandım diyor. geçmiş. Hazreti Ayşe radiyallahu an explains. Resulullah just entered a competition with me, entered a race with me, and Hazreti Ayşe says, she won. She won the race that she made with our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Evet, hemen görüyor yani, istediği anda görüyor. In a verse, God informs, I seek refuge in God from the cursed Satan. That a person asks for one of the people that he knows in heaven, and then suddenly it was it was appearing there at that instant. And the ones in hell, the ones, the believers in heaven, they they talk with them. They ask, for instance, have you found the promise of God? Have you found your trouble? And they say that they found their recompense. And this is how the believers say that what God has promised has taken place. God has kept his promise. Muslim women, they will have their tents. And every tent will have four different gates, four different doors. And from every one of those doors, women will receive presents and gifts from their husbands. This is how they will be pleased. For instance, when women receive presents in this world, they will be so much pleased. But when compared with this world, the gifts of heaven will be 
will be unsurpassable, will be unparalleled and beyond compared to these ones in this world, they will receive everything that will be pleasing them. That will be enjoyable and delightful for them. And none of them will be looking similar to the one that they have received before. They will never mock, they will never receive, and they are never greedy. They have beautiful morality, they have beautiful eyes, as if they have been hidden as pearls. See that mocking and being greedy are not pleasant in this world also. The gifts in heaven are unsurpassed when the ones compared with this world. No one would ever turn their heads and look at the gifts in this world because the ones in heaven are so perfect, unexampled, unique and rare, never seen in this world. Men is dying every day when sleeping, they are dead, and in the morning hours they are given their souls again. As if they have been resurrected again, they see those images again, and when they just sleep at night time, they die, and in the morning hours, God is given life again. They just open their eyes and are resurrected actually when they wake up in the morning hours. And at night, they again die. And again, just coming out of their tomb, they are resurrected again. And in the final death, the same thing appears, but this time, they don't wake up from their beds, but they wake up in heaven if they are believers. You had said that there will be a clear vision in heaven. It will be a more, more three-dimensional, more clear sight, eyesight. There will be no blurring, for instance. They will be able to see 3,000 kilometers distance, just like in their palms. For instance, after 100, 200 meters, there's a blurred vision. We cannot see well. You cannot see a clear image. But there, it is not that way. The houses and everything are so clear in heaven, with very clear and precise eyesight. And also the trees in heaven, they just play music and they just make people have a very good enjoyment. But according to your culture, according to your you are understanding anything that you would have as a desire in your heart, you will be finding that in heaven. One likes to swim, one likes to be together with women, one likes to ride speedboats, one likes to paint. The ones who want to paint, actually, they will be doing that in a very brief time. There is no need for training. If they would like to play musical instruments, they will be able to do that in heaven also. And there will be no need for any training, any education. But here we receive this as a culture. For instance, we receive being a team, for instance, as a culture. Uh, we, we learn about the ornaments and accessories, for instance, in this world. Women wear jewelries as earrings, as as bracelets and necklaces, but in heaven there will be true, true ones, the real, real ornaments, the real accessories. If, if an accessory from this world would be given to a woman in heaven, she would never be pleased with this one. If you would, if you would give the most amazing diamond, for instance, to a woman in heaven, she would never like that. She would never be pleased with that. There will be no gratification with the world in heaven. There will be, there will be no person mocking and deceiving against others. There will be no anger, there will be no fear. In this world, there is always negative and positive, night and day, good and bad, beautiful fragrance, bad fragrance, good dish, bad dish, sweet and sour, and fear and security. Everything is created in opposites in this world, light and dark. 
everything has an opposite in this world, but in heaven there will be only one-sided positiveness. There will be only positivity in heaven. For instance, there is the milk in heaven, but we don't know how it would taste. The milk in this world would be really so primitive. Nobody would ever drink the milk in this world. In heaven, they would never would like to taste Yete the milk of the world. Yete naze unne. This means that they raise their glasses. Net kapışıp çekişecekler. Surah Tur, verse 23. They will pass round their a drinking cup to one another. This means they will pass round their drinking cups. For instance, they ask if there will be computers in heaven. According to your culture and information, if, the, if you are pleased with computers, then those will be created in heaven for you. What is most important is you are pleased with it, if you would like it, if you would ask for it. All these are created for you in heaven. For instance, for you, if a small car is, is good for you, then that, that will be created for you in heaven. But otherwise, if you are pleased with a huge car, with a luxury car, then, then that would be created for you in heaven. This is how you will be finding it according to your own understanding, according to your own culture. And how will you be pleased in heaven? According to the piety of a person, surely that will be up to a person's sincerity, piety, and faith in God. There's traveling in heaven, and that is so fast. There's social life. For instance, the Huris, the women in, in heaven, they will come together, they will sing together, and the believers just go there to listen to their music, to their songs. This means that there are places of entertainment, there are places of enjoyment. And the Muslims, the believers there in heaven, they just give festivals, they give, they prepare festivities for one another, they invite one another to their own tables, and there will be two more heavens. So they will just travel from one heaven to another. They wonder about the other heaven, but it is eternal. The world is just like one spot when compared with the wideness, the extensive territory in heaven. What time is it? It's 5 minutes to 2 a.m. When we reach 2 a.m., they need to inform me about the number of viewers. Between 12 and 1, we have astro astronomic number of followers. There, there will be fiha, kesen. There will be drinking cups, and there will be no foolish talk. Vela, there will be no foolish talk, no wrong action. Güzel kadınlar, güzel eşler, ebedi ve pek çok renkli they will be passing round drinking cups güzel ve selim yurtlardan parlak hayat sürülen bir yer, parlak hayat ve hareketli canlı hayat sürülen yerdir diyor. They will be beautiful women, beautiful wives. There are colorful clothing and dresses and they will be high places and brilliant. This means that there will be life and joy in heaven. In heaven, women are like ruby, rubies are like jewelries and pearls. This is just a simile. Man looks into the face of women in heaven, they have beautiful complexions. They will be wearing 70 layers of clothing, and their dresses will be like flowers. The ones in heaven, they will have no hair, on their bodies, they will have no beard. Their eyes, their eyes will be lined, and their dresses will never wear down. There will be no pain, and there will be eternal life. There will be no more death in heaven.
They will be a bazaar of the residents of heaven. This means that there is a place of enjoyment, there are bazaars. Every Friday they go and visit the bazaar. Then suddenly there will be a wind from the north and the wind will be just passing from their faces and their faces will be just more beautiful. So they just go back to their families appearing more beautiful. The women tell their husbands and the husbands tell their wives that they have become more beautiful. The outer appearance of dresses, dresses are more beautiful and the women living in this world are superior than the women of heaven because they have carried out jihad, they have made efforts for God. And the women already created in heaven, they don't have this superiority. And why do they have this superiority? Because of their prayers, because of their worship, because of their service in the way of God. And this is how they are adorned with all kinds of jewelries and all the accessories they use in heaven. The items that belong to that period are described in the Hadith. So this means that the women, what they use in this world will be disappearing with, with uncomparably beautiful ones in heaven. For instance, they will have combs there. Actually, their hair is not, not ever distorted there in heaven, but the women in heaven, they will have, they will have combs because they are used to combing their, hair, combing their hair in this world. They will do that in heaven also, but with amazing combs in their hands. And there will be couches, for instance. They will just go and want to sit on the couches in heaven, but actually there is no fatigue there because they are used to do it in this world. And also in the tents in heaven, there are mattresses. They just go and lie on the mattresses. It's not because they need it in heaven, but because they've learned that as an instinct in this world. And God informs that there are women who are just directing their eyes only, only to their husbands. They are only influenced, they are only under the influence of their own Husbands. This is how man has, uh, God has created women. They only have sexual desires for their own husbands. Because the other men are also splendid, but they only are under the influence of their own husbands. And this is very important that man is looking for only their wives to be pleased with them and in heaven they will be finding that this means that they, they will have no sexual intercourse God teaches that they will be all things that the heart desires in heaven. They want us to name them one by one. For instance, there is air conditioner here. And if you are pleased with it, that will be a part of your heaven. If you are pleased with that as your culture, then you will find that in heaven. For instance, if you like a suit, you will find that suit in heaven. This is how everything that you desire will be created in heaven they want to itemize each one of them for instance they when speaking about musical instruments they talk about the guitar the guitar the clarinet these are primitive really when compared with the things in heaven and God informs that that will be your desire what you will be asking for and it will be created for you in heaven for instance meeting Girgin from Anadolu Agency, he's a journalist. He's not aware that we are talking about the heaven as described in the Quran. He's not aware. God informs that everything that people will be asking for, they desiring for, those will be created in heaven. For instance, the speedboats here in this world, they are, they are made of fiber, they are simple materials in this world. Why do they really exaggerate them? 
But the ones in heaven, those speedboats in heaven, they will be uncomparable. That is based on your culture, based on your imagination. So my descriptions is definitely in line, indefinite, indefinitely according to the Quran, according to the verses of the Quran. The Muslims living in heaven, the believers living in heaven, they are welcome at the gates of heaven. And they are greeted with selam there. Selam, you will not be leaving here. You are, you have attained eternal life. This is how the believers are welcome in heaven. These people, for instance, working in Andola Agency, they have limited visions. They have limited understandings. They only expect to see trees in heaven, only green gardens, or maybe they only think about some oranges and lemons in heaven. They cannot really appreciate anything that you would have in your vision, in your dreams, in your minds, and things that we are not aware of, that we have not been informed of in this world. And everything that the heart desires, those, those are going to be present, created for believers in heaven. Then they try to come out and say that will there be ornamented belts yes we say for instance will there be beautiful shoes why don't you listen properly anything that your heart desires anything that would be pleasing for you everything as part of your vision and your eye would find tasteful all will be present in heaven the women wear dresses cemental layers of dresses they will be seven to different fragrances, seven to different types of fragrances. So this means that every cloth, every layer will have a different smell, will have a different fragrance. And the who reads the women in heaven? For each one of them, there will be pearl and red rubies. There will be couches prepared for them out of those jewelries. And also in those thrones, in those crowns, there will be mattresses. Why is a mattress needed? Why would there be a kuri, a woman in heaven, and also a mattress for her to have sexual relations? And there will be couches so that they sit on them, mattresses so that they have sexual relations with them. And for kuris, the women in heaven, they will be 70,000 servants. There will be 70,000 servants, men and women. They bring things, they take things, they prepare dishes, they prepare festivals, they make preparations for their husbands. And along with their servants, there will be golden plates which will be serving different dishes so that the believers will be just presenting different tastes to one another. This is how the believers will be we just preparing festivities, foods, foods and dishes to one another, and there will be so many servants helping and serving. In Surah Kaf, verse 35, they will have there everything they want. In the verse, it is stated, they will have there everything they want. But when we tell this, they don't really understand. And they will have their everything they want and with us there is still more this means that there is no limit to what you would ask for it is endless countless anything that you would think of and they will stay there throughout eternity in surah zuhruf verse 71 I seek refuge in God from the cursed Satan. You will yeah, remain in it timelessly demek. forever. <laughs> we have such a high number of followers. <laughs> this is... There are people from the traditional <laughs> Orthodox <laughs> circles. <laughs> if you give all the details with <laughs> specific <laughs> facts <laughs> and truth, they cannot really appreciate, they cannot really understand. They cannot really appreciate beautiful fragrances, tastes, they cannot have a vision, a wide vision. In Surah Nebe, a recompense from your Lord. According to the beautiful morality of Muslims, a commensurate gift. This means that believers are given this as a gift.
They will be visiting one another, just riding on white cam camels. Just reminding, reminding of ruby, oriental ruby. This means that they will be riding red cars, but because of their light brightness, they appear to be like white, brilliant. And also, they will be, they will be camels and horses and women. These are all part of heaven. When God grants you heaven, if you would like to ride a horse, if you would like to ride a fast vehicle, you will be just given a ruby, a red ruby. Because in this world, people are mostly pleased with red cars. Ruby is, is a material, is a jewelry that shines so much, that is so brilliant. This is a direct description of, of the vehicles in heaven, because rubies, they have an oval appearance, and these cars, they have an oval appearance again, and they will be shiny, they will be brilliant in their appearance. And those horses will be just making you fly to anywhere you like. This means that they, you will be riding those vehicles, the cars, with great speed in heaven. This is a clear statement in the Hadith. And the ones in heaven, the residents in heaven, they ride on those horses and they visit one another. They just give festivals to one another. They just give banquets to one another. There are places of entertainment and enjoyment, not one, ten, hundred.